beautiful afternoon in Western Washington with my brother Mark. We're here to demonstrate a waterless well pump. If you're like many people, you're looking for options. If electricity was not available, water is a primary resource we all have to have. So Mark and myself and Dad, we all got together, got to thinking about different ways, and Dad was the mastermind of this one. You can extract water from your well with no electricity. I'll show you how we do it. This well is not in use presently because the house has been on city water for some time. But even if it was in use, you can remove the well pump and anything that's in the way, wires, hoses, or whatnot, and pull all the water you want. Would this cost? I think we got a, what have we got? 20 bucks in that? 20 bucks? Something like 20 bucks. Water level down here, 10 feet. Which it goes down, that's just the static level. But right. Plenty of water available, even if it was 50 feet or 100 feet, this still would work just the same. Right. Got plenty of rope. Right. That's all right. I just that big drop. Boy, that one there would not. about two and a half gallons in there. Four inch pipe holds 0.65 gallons per foot. So we've set this one up at four feet, so half a bucket. But the plan is to also, we're putting together a shorter one too with half the capacity. A little easier to work, especially if it was down at uh, you know, a much lower level. So the whole thing's probably 25 pounds. You see a little bit of rust in the water that's coming off the casing because it hasn't been used. That beats the heck out of going all the way to the river down here and packing it back up. So we'll show you how this works. The bottom is a simple ball check valve assembly. We've got stainless steel bolts that work to keep that check valve from getting away to keep it where it belongs. And the rest is just an empty tube. You can see it dissected here. Yeah. This one here two-foot version. <clears throat> Simple four-inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe. Oop. Here's the bottom. So on the bottom of the pipe we've got a coupling. We haven't glued it on or anything yet. Into the bottom of the coupling goes a 4x2 reducer. And in there is a rubber ball, solid rubber ball, that we got from Big Five Sports. And it seats against the bottom of that reducer. So when you put this together, as you drop it down into the water, the ball rises up, the tube fills, and then as soon as you start to pull it, the ball seats against the reducer and seals it. So the only thing missing from this is the two bolts that go through here crossways and keep the ball from going all the way up the tube when you lower it into the water. Very simple, inexpensive. So things get bad. There's no power available here for days or weeks or months. We've got plenty of water. And we owe the credit to the mastermind, old dad over here, who came from an era when people had to think more than they do now. All the water you want. That's it. With just a little effort. Just a little effort. Beautiful. So, that's how we do it here. For more ideas, take a look at my website, www.profitfromplanning.com. Thank you.